Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Storm. My name is Drea. <laughs> I'm Natalie. And we are part of the Prince George's County Memorial Public Library System. And today on this fine afternoon, we will be creating beautiful works of art to create a cherry blossom or a sakura tree using only Q-tip, paint, and paint brushes. <laughs> All right, let's start gathering our materials. As you can see, we already have our paint on our plate. We have the colors pink, brown, white, red, green, and black <clears throat> that we'll be using for our um, project. Um, the thing with the Q-tips that we're going to be using <clears throat> um, is you can either do single or you take a bunch and you gather them around. And you take a rubber band. Ooh. How many should be in a bunch? Um, however many you want. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> it could be as little or as much as you want to create in a bunch. Um, but before we can even get to, you know, think about even getting to our trees, we got to first paint our tree. <laughs> oh, yeah. Before the, the blossoms that we can do. Gotcha. Um, because we're, we are doing the cherry blossom craft in honor of the National Cherry Blossom Festival that happens in Washington, D.C., right near us, um, commemorating the March 27th, 1912 gift of roughly 3,000 Japanese cherry trees for Mayor Yukuo Ozaki of Tokyo City to the city of Washington, D.C. Um, so he donated the trees to enhance the growing friendship between the United States and Japan and also to celebrate the continued close relationship between our two nations. That is so many cherry trees. That's a lot of cherry trees. Mm. We always, when I think of the cherry blossom trees, I only think of the ones that are around the, what oh, is that, the, the, the mall? Yeah, the mall nice area, mall. but I think they're also spread out throughout actually other places in DC mm -hmm. too. Just most people go to view the trees in that main area. So how do we draw the tree park? So you're going to actually, it's, it's up to whatever you, you guys want to do. If you want thick, a thick trunk, a thin trunk, um, you would just choose which brushes that you want to use. So I'm probably going to use a square. You probably can't really see it very well, but mine is going to be square kind of bristles. But you can also use circular, whatever you have on hand. Okay, but this is the only part that we do with a paintbrush? Yeah, this is the only part we're going to do with a paintbrush. Thank you, Natalie. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. I might be thick actually, starting off with the main trunk. I see that you guys are doing some tall, skinny paintings. I think I'm going to make a short, wide piece. Ooh. I was actually thinking about that because <laughs> I was actually going to do it in a different. Um, now, <laughs> can we do this like stylized? What do you mean? I don't think the painting police are. I'm going to say, I think it, today. You show your own lot, creative yeah. thing. I'm just going to do, I'm going to turn my best here because okay. it's been quite a while since I painted. All right. <laughs> Um, now I'm like, should I do it the way? No, no. Just do what the way it feels right. Times. There are different cherry trees. There are different cherry tree paintings. That's how I like it. It hasn't been so terribly long since I've gotten to paint because I did get to do some straw painting for an afternoon before. Lovely. But this is very different. For one thing, there are, are no straws here. For another, the Q-tip thing? Oh, wow. That sounds very good. I'm so looking forward to actually doing the the, the blossoms on the tree because I think that'll be so like pretty. <laughs> I'm like super nervous about that because I'm like, okay, I've never actually painted this. I'm Q -tip. actually going to use two different lengths of brushes to do thin and thick touches. Nice. Lovely. Because the beautiful thing about cherry, cherry tree, cherry blossom trees is that like they go every which way. There's no like right, right. Well, for the branches to go. They're so <laughs> unique and artful. I, I guess that's why um, they're using a lot of paintings. Japanese paintings for sure. Mm -hmm. What a great gift to give somebody a cherry tree. Because like <sighs> that would be a very striking plant that. Probably people had not seen anything like that before. Like that's look, if you get me a cherry tree, Natalie, 
We'll be friends forever. <laughs> Not that we already are. Let me quick write that down because <laughs> your birthday <laughs> is coming up several months away. <laughs> I love how I see so many actually cherry blossom trees in the area near where I live now because they've spread out. People buy them to have in front of their homes and their backyards. Yes. I wonder how much they cost. I don't know. Oh, that's a, that's a reference question for after the program. <laughs> yeah, we got to look that. I'm curious now to look up too on how much cherry blossom okay. trees cost. It's like, uh, when, I get, when I get a house, I <laughs> cherry trees. When I was little, I, okay, I was born like 40 years old. I've always been somebody who, uh, well, the sort of person who fantasizes about having a place where they can plant trees. Not true. And now that I'm an adult, have I planted any trees? I have not. Guys. <laughs> Soon. Soon. We will all come and have a viewing party. What is it called? Hannah Murray? Hmm. Apparently they're really nice at night too. I wish we had festivals like Japan does. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Be the festival you want to see in the world. Let's, let's yes. Go. Probably <laughs> you're the <tallest. laughs> I would say they have a doll festival, they have a boys day boys festival, festival, girls day festival. Mm -hmm. I mean we have women's day, but we don't have festivals though. We're yeah. like it's a holiday, y'all do your own thing. But I would love, love, love to see. Um, I like how I'm adding layers now onto the tree. Yeah. <laughs> I love how everybody's tree is so different already. Yeah. We haven't even gotten to the cherry part. Well, cherry blossom part. <laughs> I'm going to make quite a few cherry blossoms just float gently to the ground, too. Oh, oh that's, <laughs> nice. that's a good idea. For sure. It'll be really pretty. <laughs> I'm for that. I think I'm going to be done with my trunk because I'm getting to the point where there's only so much space your trunk can go. Yeah, right. I'm getting to the point where I'm wondering where am I going to put the blossoms? I've got too much trunk going up. So I'm well, the beauty of this craft mm -hmm. is when you do the q-tip you can do them over oh nice. because remember the, the flowers bunch up like so you kind of like you're kind of also in a way hiding the trunk of the tree mm -hmm. exactly. so you could have so much blossoms going on or you could have like the bare minimum it's whatever you want <laughs> yes. You know, I actually have cherry blossoms on my bathroom shower curtain. They're really nice. I did not know that. Oh. Yes, it's. I love it because it's. It's the colors that I really enjoy about the cherry blossoms. Yeah, not all of them are pink, but the gradation between pink, red, and white is just so gorgeous. To me. Yes. Didn't Animal Crossing also have cherry blossoms? A whole season. <laughs> I, I spent all summer collecting cherry blossom petals. And that's another thing we've beautifully gotten from Japan is Nintendo. <laughs> Thank you, Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. So if, you, if anyone has ever played or seen Animal Crossing, they have a, they actually incorporate festivals and, and celebrations yeah. into their games. They did have Hina Matsuri in that one. Oh, mm. I probably missed that one. No, oh. no, I didn't miss that. It's that's right on um, um, the Chinese New Year. Mm. I didn't know they were celebrating around the same time. So I'm like, oh, this is cool. Yeah, there's only so much branches. I'm like trying to think of where else can I add a branch? <laughs> Everywhere. I'm just trying to find a way that where it's minimalistic yet still a tree. Yours definitely looks like a tree. Yes. <laughs> Does it? Oh, I hope so. This is absolutely. Our tree terrifying. looks fantastic on the video. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Because I was like, Lord have mercy. I hope it doesn't look crazy. I bet your guys' trees it's at home look beautiful, beautiful too. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. And I'd love to see anyone's creations after um 
the program after you've um, painted with us, be you are more than welcome to send in your creations to our library so we could potentially display them. Yes. <laughs> I think I can turn on some blossoms. Wait for me. <laughs> I wanted to wait for Storm to show me how it's supposed oh, to Oh, yay! Good point. <laughs> yes, yes. So, what you're going to do is kind of make sure they're as even as possible. Okay. So, you want to, when, whatever, how much, however much you bunched up, kind of make sure they're as even as possible so none of them are like sticking out further than the other. Mm. Like a stamp. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna dip it in and you're gonna go Ta -da! lovely. That does look very I'm gonna nice. add texture to that because I'm gonna add some white. See, you could also create different bunches, which is not what I'm gonna have to do. So I'm gonna do maybe a bunch of like three. Actually, I'm going to do one, just one Q-tip with red and kind of dot that in. And don't worry, oh, guys. Nice. Slow and steady wins the race well as well. So you may still be working on your birds. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Don't feel like you have to go at a fast pace or. There's nothing wrong with taking your time, but also there's nothing wrong with being really, really eager to get going. <laughs> I'm going to do a bunch of three for white paint. This would be also so cute to do like green trees too, because these are making great bunches and it looks so organic. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I can definitely see this being an autumn leaves painting activity. <gasps> Can we oh, do some fall, guys? Yeah. Back to the fall. <laughs> I'm also going to do one Q tip for green for the leaves. I think I may just may be ready to move on. I got to keep looking at my, my undergrowth here. There's nothing that says you can't go back in a little bit. If you need to add a couple more branches. Okay. I think my favorite thing about Danny is you can always come back to it. Mm -hmm. And the thing I really love about a lot of Japanese paintings is the, the focus on the brushstroke. Oh dear, I have not been focusing on the brushstroke. <laughs> Tell me more about this. <laughs> so it was like, it's more like movement. They really care about like how it is looking on the page. Like, um, for example, really strong, um, not sketchy marks, but strong, firm marks. Just kind of like how they do their characters for their alphabet. Cool. Right. Does anybody else feel like this is like Bob Ross? <laughs> <laughs> this is uncommonly relaxing for me. I'll, I'll be firm. I think that after we film this, I'm going to be doing this at another point just for me. Just for us. <laughs> just for us. I mean, look, like, for me, I'm having so much fun. And I'm only doing the branches right now. Like I am in love and I can't just calm down. Oh, <laughs> well, this is such a great idea. Oh, I love how your red is looking in with your oh, oh, thank you. that oh, that's really absolutely nice. gorgeous. This is I am very pleased that you guys invited me to do some art with you today because this is 
so much fun. Can't not do art without you, man. No, no, no way. <laughs> And also, this is something that I've never tried before. I'm going to be doing this in the future. <laughs> oh, yes. So now you're going to start screaming, you painted through the blossom trees. <laughs> I follow you. <laughs> I was making a very oblong, kind of like, um, I guess, acacia trees, but I could make it a little bit rounder. I'm going to try what Storm was doing with the one, uh, with the one Q-tip for the leaves and see how that goes. Hmm. All right, it looks like a wow. That looks really scary. <laughs> Why is my shoe? It looks amazing. Is what it looks like. <laughs> okay, I was like looking at it like that looks like an evil hand. <laughs> It's a wise old gnarled tree in the forest. <laughs> it is here to dispense both cherry blossoms and knowledge. Yes. We have the type to have a library card. Which we often get. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, every time I say I'm done, I'm seeing one more spot that's like, uh oh. <laughs> Just a little bit more. And like me, you're gonna have times where you get paint on your fingers, but have <laughs> have uh, paper towels or napkins handy around so you can fix mistakes. <laughs> yeah, I always recommend an entire roll of paper towels at your workstation because yeah. your pants are right there and you're gonna to wanna to wipe your hands on your pants, but don't do it. Unless you have a smock. Unless they're your special heat wiping pants. <laughs> Okay, one more, I swear, just one more. And we're used to doing the single, um, the single. Q oh, the single cutis. The proportion of leaf to cherry blossom is always going to be very heavily in favor of the cherry blossom and i hate to put way too many leaves on there all at once before mm -hmm. i realized what i was doing okay so first i thought i was gonna have tiny blossoms but i don't think so you're gonna yeah no you can definitely you, your tree is a, like a full tree you could just <laughs> go everywhere with it <laughs> so i was like maybe it's a little bit more you um, could go crazy with it let's go crazy like that Oh, did I just break that little bit? I'm sorry, but now I'm always thinking in graphic terms, like with graphic design, and I'm always thinking, oh, you want to layer it, you want to have dark and then light, but sometimes that may not work in real life because we can't alt delete and we can't change opacity. <laughs> I hit um, a milestone over last weekend. Hmm. I was drawing on a piece of paper and I reached out with my very hand and I tried to zoom in. <gasps> no. And I thought, well, this is it. <laughs> this is where we are, guys. This is where we are. Now, I am a lover of mixing colors. There's uh, so much more depth you can get with a little bit of variation. Yes. You can do it straight from the bottle, and that's absolutely fine. But if you mix them up a little bit, you get so many more options. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the following cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Oh, delightful. <laughs> I was like, I love seeing blossoms falling gently to the right. This is now the dramatic moment in a movie. <laughs> yeah. Perfection. Or, or an anime. <laughs> I was like, what anime do I normally see a lot of cherry blossoms in? Shoujo? Yeah, like uh, Sailor Moon or Cardcaptor oh, Sakura. Oh, yeah, Cardcaptor Sakura. Cardcaptor Sakura. Cardcaptor Sakura. Cardcaptor Sakura actually has a lot of, like, well, I feel like cherry blossom scenes. Her name is Sakura. Yeah, her name is Sakura. Yeah. I'm going to go with this color. I'm not quite in love with it just yet. Mm 
Wait, I do this right side. We are all really fans. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> oh, Natalie's adding grass to her. I was gonna do that. Oh, cool. <laughs> My my trick too, like it's the grass is not in the frame of shot for this. Because yeah. <laughs> you don't have like this aerial twist thing going for you, yeah. <laughs> which I enjoy. Oh lord. It went off the page, y'all. That is that's okay. That's why the tablecloth yeah. is here. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you don't good. have to have bought a disposable tablecloth mm -hmm. for this, kids. You can use mm -hmm. newspaper or whatever at home and it's fine. Now, I'm not just smashing it because I'm thinking strategically about mm -hmm. where the light is coming from. I did not even remotely think about what the light was coming from. <laughs> so I am very impressed with this. Good times and arts to a lot. No, I might actually just like hang this up. <laughs> Let's start. So it's totally okay to get another batch, right? Like we don't have yeah. to keep using the same one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If, I, I mean, if as long as, if if you feel like you want to, if you want to do a smaller or, or bigger even one grouping, you could do that. <laughs> so I'm like imagining myself now trying to hold this like this, <laughs> and then <laughs> let's see what happens with that. Look. Your tree no longer looks scary. It doesn't? Yeah! I'm so scared. Because I was like, yo. So welcoming. <laughs> that tree is going to bake some cookies for somebody? Yes. All the cookies. I'm a little bit heavy with this book, so I'm going to have to poke. <laughs> That's how I did with some yeah. of my reds and whites. I think I might have to go back over You're with. like, oops. Go back over with uh, some. Um, well, the nice thing about using this acrylic paint is it will let you go back over and it's not even a big deal. Yeah, like I used to like think acrylic wasn't very forgiving and then, and that watercolor and I will never ever see that again. So I'm about to top for these. I think my tree needs what? Oh, a friend. Can be like, in the background, I can have some smaller trees. Um, oh, <laughs> there's a little bee in here. We had we had a little bit of encounter with some insects, guys. <laughs> Our trees were too real. <laughs> too real. Oh too gosh. real. And the bee came over and she was like, mm, those were amazing. <laughs> Give me those trees. <laughs> now, for all the viewers out there, I am actually definitely afraid of bees. <laughs> I'll protect you. Thank you. <laughs> I, any honey for I actually, uh, um, one of our other um, co-workers, <laughs> we had an encounter with a bee um, the other day and uh, I actually saved it and took it outside. <laughs> you are an angel. <laughs> In my mind, it's either him or me. <laughs> and um, it's scary. <laughs> I'm loving how your tree is coming along. Thank yeah. you. I'm, I'm getting this like, it's almost uh, organically made. Like it feels, there needs to be a word for that. It's a procedurally generated tree. <laughs> <laughs> like it's got its own form, but you still know what it is. Now you're all you're gonna hear for the rest of the video is this. <laughs> oh, nobody's knocking on your door. <laughs> Sorry for making your dog cry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah, people with pets at home with our constant. <laughs> It kind of inspired me to maybe add some black into my tree. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I use black as like a guideline as well as like a enhancing. Yeah. And it gives me depth. Mm. 
Ooh. Oh, good job. I about had a heart attack there. I was like, well, time to do some more blossoms over some new branches. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Over the, I didn't even, um, I don't know how long we have been working on these. I didn't even think to. It's too much fun. We're having too much fun. Too much fun. We're done when we're done. That's that. <laughs> sure, there, there's no time limit on how long it takes you to do something. <laughs> do something. Now I've gotten to the place in my life where it's like, okay, we can mix colors with the actual what is this called nice. now i think we must go and fix that i'm doing like gentle really thin lines nice. <laughs> from a tree oh yeah <laughs> that's good i think i need I'm going to try this old bundle that I made, and it may turn out it's too big for these smaller background trees. So everybody, like, cross your fingers if you can. <laughs> cross one of my hands. That, that fingers of this hand. This will work out. I appreciate that you are genuinely crossing your fingers for me, <laughs> even though you are doing a complicated task with your other hand. Man, multitasking is an art. <laughs> Yay. So what I want to do is kind of generate some darkness, but like pink darkness. Yes. Yes, my child. <laughs> Mix with me. Oh, can you all see that? Oh, you really can see it. <coughs> mm -hmm. That's cool. I forgot to move the black over. I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> There's partially hiding my our beautiful work. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, crisis averted, Brad. Yeah. You know, I think I might need some black too. Because now that I've committed to the idea that there's a forest of them back there, <laughs> I need to make it a little bit darker back there. All right? It gives you a nice depth perception type thing mm -hmm. going on. And I always have this habit of standing back with whatever I'm looking at. So then I'm always like looking, um, like I'll lean backwards, like, hmm. How does this look? Mm -hmm. I got a little bit of paint from where I didn't want, but luckily I have this Q tip right here to cover uh, it up again. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's so great how like <clears throat> you both have like different style that I really love about so like Natalie I love how you did your blossom mm -hmm. and then Drea I love how you blended in colors and stuff it's so <laughs> pretty thank you you're so sweet it is. <laughs> and you're like you're fearless so you went through the oh whole page I'm like <laughs> I am too scared <laughs> to get that far I wish I, I'm kind of like man if I had blue then I had blue background oh, to the sky yeah. <laughs> But that's okay. I think the white works really well with like making the trees pop out like because I'm like maybe a little later when we go in with the subtle maybe light yellow. Ooh. Yeah, I was thinking, I bet you there's a Pokemon that's related to like cherry trees. <laughs> I would love that Pokemon to death. I hope there is. Oh, I'm sure there is out there. <laughs> How many Pokemon are there now? Oh, I feel yeah. like it. Is it a million? Because I haven't played since what? Sapphire? Uh, there's so many. I've lost count. <laughs> 
I mean, there was a lot when they first came out yeah. when I was a kid. Wasn't that like 100? 150. 150. 100, is it 151 or 150? Oh, 100. gosh, I don't know. Well, I this think is just I, like the alphabet. I think it was 150, <laughs> and then they added like Mewtwo. And oh, Mewtwo yeah, Mewtwo. that's why they did that. View on Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. I said I had a dream about Mewtwo not too long ago. Oh, okay. That sounds scary. Please don't. Oh, that's that. just... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, it was a very friendly Mewtwo. That's why I was confused. Like, hi, friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I say that happens to me with all these paint brushes and and, <laughs> and Q tips. I'm like, don't. Get anything on any <laughs> I got too excited about the custom brush aspect of bundling and bundled a lot. I forgot that um cherry blossoms had like greenery. <laughs> <laughs> well that's why you added green onto your plate. Yeah, I was just looking at it like so you're gonna it's go just my problem with trying to figure out where the greenery would be within the tree. Got it. <laughs> I'm just gonna um Delicately stroke. I think I'm gonna add some more red too. But I want to do multiples of red now. Ooh, it's saucy over there. <laughs> Just kind of. So who's loving the warm weather? I know I am. Yes, I have to change my whole wardrobe now. <laughs> I definitely need to do some new shopping for some spring clothes. Yeah, it's spring clothes. Now, can we um get a consensus of what that is actually? Because <laughs> I, when I think of spring, I think hoodies. I'm still a hoodie person. Like I don't know. I mean, I still wear hoodies. We can still wear hoodies, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like it's summer. I mean, I still will wear hoodies in summer. I was gonna say, uh, I'm pretty sure that. There is no situation in which I would not be able to see you layering. <laughs> I get so toasty so early. Yeah, like you were dying yesterday. And I'm like, dude, we haven't even hit. Real spring is, was it April 21st or March 21st? No, real spring hit. So we're finally in le legit spring now. Okay, we cool. Have past equinox. Do not get this taken down. Oh. Because we have violated copyright. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I am feeling pretty solid about the forest aspect. Yes. I did make some of my trees with Q-tips, and that's not that's not as much my favorite as using a brush. But I don't think it looks terrible. I see. And it gets blurry as it zooms out. away from you, obviously, uh, and that's why that's, yes. that's why I'll zoom out. I guess <laughs> I think you did very good at differentiating between the foreground and the background. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I dare try to copy a storm and put a couple of cherry blossoms in the air? I don't know if I do. Oh, well, you could just be, you. You could use like a very mini tiny brush. To oh, do yeah. kind of like like the like the little like the one pink petals like that I was doing maybe on mine. Can I do part of one, not even a whole? <laughs> she said part. <laughs> like very carefully apply. I was like, I could definitely hang this up in my bedroom. Right, like, check it out. <laughs> I'm absolutely showing this to my mom. <laughs> mom, mom. Yeah, I'm definitely going to show this to my mom, too. We can show her the video. Oh. Yeah. That's going to be so good. <laughs> right? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Oh, when is Mother's Day? When is Mother's Day? Is that May? I know Father's Day is <laughs> May 11th. Wait, isn't it June? June. Oh, it was sorry, June. June 11th. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> oh, May 11th is 
Mother's Day. Show my dad's birthday is May 11th, so I know it ends up oh, being, that's it ends up being on Mother's Day. So right. my dad's birthday is Mother's Day. It usually lands on Mother's Day. That's and then Father's Day is June something, right? Did they make that 11th too? I don't know. It's June something around that time. It moves because it's not a uh, date. It's the, um, I want to say it's the second Sunday of the month. Okay. Okay. But this is not a reference question. And I can't <laughs> swear that that's correct. That's just from the top of our heads. Desperately here. trying to remember. Okay. That might be put it down. Put it Sometimes if the hardest thing is for an artist to know when to stop. When it's done, that's the hardest thing for an artist to decide. Well, you're always going to think, what if I just and then suddenly you've just done 15 other things? And you're like, this does not look like what I started with. See, I'm trying to do that majestic outline they do. I just love it. And now I got some pet of some actual green petals falling. Here we go. Yay. All the petals falling off my tree. So many. <laughs> How's it looking on the table? It is looking beautiful. Ooh. I wonder if this is better off with the white or hmm. yeah, you can incorporate lighter green. You're right, because I was like something. Probably because you're like your tree trunk and stuff is so dark, you can yeah. make it lighter, lighter for the grass. <laughs> I am being informed that Sunday, May 9th, is Mother's Day this year. Oh, uh -oh. So is that another one of those? Um, and oh, Father's that's... Day is June twentieth, also a Sunday. Wow. Why is it so fun? I thought I thought like Father's Day was a lot earlier than that in June, but yeah. in May, I guess yeah, because they move around. So <laughs> I think that's about all. I don't want to like I don't want to overcrowd my yeah. painting. Yeah, I, I think this is. I think I'm done. Tell me, I wonder how do I know when I finished. <laughs> Again, the hardest part of the artist is look at that beautiful blending though going that on. That is <laughs> on a whole new level. <laughs> I was just I um actually I had a memory on um pop up on my social media about um I my old old job I painted the children's windows. <laughs> oh. I'm like I'm hoping maybe when we go things go back to normal I can start painting our children's windows. I love that. I, I miss painting. It's very fun <laughs> and relaxing like you said. <laughs> You've done the windows here before with the uh, chalk markers oh, so yeah. I'm sure we should be able to do it with some window paint. Yeah. I love that. Oh yeah you're wow your painting definitely looks like it looks nice on a wall. And it's, but you know they're what? all beautiful and they're all valid guys. <laughs> yes. I was just thinking about it. I was like, you know, God, no. Um some people spend and it really matters this um your pink and green is a special color. Mm. And I know a perfect person who gives a special pink and green gift to. Them. Of course, I'm gonna go through it like really good answer this so. <laughs> The finer details. The finer details, because I love art and it drives me mad. See, that's um, your trunk is what I was originally trying to gun for. Oh yeah. But it wasn't. It wasn't doing the light blending like yours was, so that's why I went really in with the 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 black. The but trunk. the black looks. It made yeah, it look it really nice and like the trunk looks more professional <laughs> than the, than the, the black the makes it somehow beautiful. like dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's difficult for me to imagine because that was so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's that question. Yeah. Is it on the jacket and the jacket? The thickest too. Hi, 
can't find this page. <laughs> I'm very impressed with like you're you're doing shadows and stuff. Like that. <laughs> and I, in my painting, I decided the light's coming from all directions at once, and that's just how it is. And that's you know what? Sometimes it's more freeing to do things, and especially when it's abstract. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Abstract. It's a good feeling. Hmm. Something's just not right. Something about this roof here. Respectfully disagree. <laughs> I, was like, I, I mean, it's beautiful blending going on. I'm not on. trying to boss anybody, but I do <laughs> respectfully disagree with this assessment. Okay. And well, I would like the record to show <laughs> <laughs> that this is beautiful. Okay. All right. One last. It's around. I think. I think. Oh God. Guys, this was. I was the one in class that was never finished. <laughs> like I said, no rush. The longer I stare at mine, I'm like, hmm, what else can I? <laughs> what else can I add? The longer that um, I go without a brush in my hand, breast keeps it. <laughs> the more I think, what, what if there was just a little, a little guy in there somewhere? But I can't open up that can of worms. <laughs> yeah. I was debating putting something in the trees, but I'm like, don't do that. Don't do. It. <laughs> if we're struggling enough, just let it go. Don't be like that. Let it go. Oh my God! Don't that's, 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 that's the one line. The one. No. I, can't, I can't possibly get us for that. <laughs> you don't know what "Let It Go" I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sure there's hundreds of "Let It Go" songs out there. Yeah. All right. One last. Uh, I know. I keep saying that. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Exactly. Yeah. Like, one last. What? One last. What? The camera can't quite capture the the uh, look, <laughs> the eye contact. <laughs> that storm and I keep it. <laughs> oh, I saw the storm's head and neck and they turn, and I was like, oh yeah, they are. With my hands on, you can kind of see my hands on my hips. Like if you don't quit, <laughs> if you don't stop beautifying your beautiful. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Okay, we're done here. All right, then. Can we show the camera? Yes. Oh, no, yay. All right. Three different takes on a cherry tree. <laughs> Delightful and all of them valid. All of them valid. And I'm the only one that doesn't have grass in my. <laughs> <laughs> Not every painting. I don't have. Oh my God. You guys have petals? Beautiful. I didn't have anything falling. This is all abstract feelings. There's no room for falling because you've gone too hard. <laughs> <laughs> It was so oh, fun to do yes. this with you, and I hope to see your guys' creation. I oh, hope yes. to see what you guys come up with uh, using our tips and tricks uh, methods on how we did our painting. Yes. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the next afternoon. I know, it'll be so fun. We got to plan that sometime soon. But thank you guys for sharing, coming, and stopping by. Thank you.